Hey, hello everyone, Tanak here. Welcome to episode 16 of Building My Industrial Empire in EVE Online. So, we'll start with the usual progress report. This week I'm at 9.7 billion ISK. So, as you'll see from last week, I didn't make, well, nearly any progress this week. Uh, if we look at the graph here, I barely made 50, I didn't even make 50, mil, uh, 50 million. I bought uh, one blueprint, uh, I researched the one that I had, so my net worth is pretty much uh, dead in the water uh, right now, so I just need to update that graph here. But uh, anyway, uh, what happened this week? Uh, well. First of all, I didn't run any incursion because I didn't feel felt like it. Uh, I, and with the coronavirus, uh, the wait time to get into the incursion fleet have gone up like a, a lot because you've got more people playing. So sometimes you even you you would have to wait like three hours to get into the fleet. And personally, I I'm still working from home and doing like super long hour <laughs> like longer than when I usually at work. So I get that I get to have a chance to play later. So I don't have time to wait three hour in the fleet. And I even that I just didn't feel like it. Uh, also, this week I had like a super bad Eve week because I lost two ship. Uh, the first one is uh, my uh, my uh, exploration frigate uh, where where I went uh, scanning for uh, probing moon to find out one that was good enough to set a base, and uh, well, I got my ship blown up. Uh, this one I didn't care really about. I mean, I was in low sec flying with uh, a frigate, uh, so and I fully, I mean, <laughs> I had no gun. Uh, I usually I'm pretty, uh, pretty uh, fast to get away, so I don't get caught. But uh, my daughter was asking me for help, so I stepped away from the keyboard for a few minutes in low sec, and uh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> so <laughs> that that's what happened. So well, should happen. That that one I don't care. I mean, it's the cost of doing business, or so for me it's a non-issue. Uh, the other one though that I was really salty is I built a navy uh, vexor because uh, I still got like tons of LP so I bought a Navy Vexor and try running a Triclavian site. I ran my first one which went good I mean I did the T1 site and I managed to complete it in time and it was like I was doing great and I ran a second site after that and while I was fighting the last boss I got a power outage so and at exactly when I was doing a maneuver to get away from the boss, so my traversal wasn't because uh, I I wanted to be able to kill him faster to loot to loot stuff. So I was able to take some damage. I had repair module on, so I figured. I mean, I'll take damage. I'll hit him a little more, and we so so the fight will end up uh, faster. And at that exact point, I got a power outage. And when I got back in the game uh, five minutes later, because uh, it was like just a short power out outage. And when I got back in the game, I was in a pod in my own station and lost a clone. So I got I lost a Federation uh, Navy, uh, well, a, a Navy Vexor. Uh, fully fitted though that's about like 60 mil I had I built the I had built the ship myself so uh, uh, it wasn't uh, that big a deal but still it's worth 50 million uh, 50 million and most importantly I lost the clone with all my implants so and I was pretty salty because I got I had like plus four implant and everything and since it's not a server-side issue the loss is on me so 
Eh. <laughs> Not much I can do. Uh, I mean, uh, I take the hit and that's what happened. Uh, so, aside from that, uh, what else did I do? So, I didn't do, do, I didn't, I don't get to play that much, and I lost uh, like uh, almost, well, almost 200 million. I still managed to come ahead this week a, a little bit because of, uh, well, mining <laughs> mostly. Uh, so that's that's about what happened this week. Uh, and also, because you know, I was a little down last week. Uh, I didn't have much of a goal and uh, actually I'm still at the same point where I don't think that industry is very profitable but on the other end uh, as the week gone by I started reflecting on what I'm looking for in this game and the reality of it is I don't really like to fly ships in EVE that much Honestly, I mean, I'm an, an elite dangerous player and I like the flight mechanic of elite. EVE online is more like a click on your ship, go there. So I don't really like flying the, the ship, but I like the skill system. I like making build. Uh, I like building ship. I like the economy in EVE. I like the trading. I like the depth of the system. So there's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I like in EVE. Uh, just not flying ships so and industry is what I really want to do so the point is even if it's not profitable I should be doing something that I enjoy and a couple of people sent me those messages and there was a, a few comments with that and actually you watching me run incursion after incursion is not really fun and the channel uh, has now passed like 280 subs so there's starting to be a, a significant amount of people that are watching my adventure so my adventure need to be fun to watch to need to be entertaining a little bit for to to keep you guys interested and it need to be fun for me and uh, basically running incursion after incursion it's just you watching my network go up but that's it. And what do I do with the money? So with that in mind, what is what did I do? And this some of you will probably get a little bit excited. I bought this little baby here and I managed to get it from Jita in my loot pinata all the way to my to her salouette so i i passed to demo <laughs> so so the, the hardest part is done uh so i got the atenor it is a beauty and now i just need to set it up somewhere uh, also what i will do i just didn't have time to do it yet is i will put my main character in a corp uh, a clean corp history is like uh, uh, a beautiful game in a mint package that's not open, but I'm not collecting character with long corp history. Uh, I'm playing a game, so there's no point in keeping that, that virgin corp history. And... Another point that I didn't tell you is that I also have my wife old character on that same account. So I have another character that's like 200 and uh, well, that's 16 year in the newbie corp because she never joined the corp either. So I'm going to keep my wife character mint and this one will will join my corp. I will be opening myself to war deck because I'm going to lay down a structure and but I mean, yeah should happen i mean you you don't uh, you don't play uh, i mean there's no point in playing if you're not not taking advantage of like you're you're keeping yourself away from three quarter of the game because you're just too afraid to get a war deck so i mean and for me i don't i don't mind getting war deck i don't mind getting shot at and i know i mean 
I know that if I'm in my unarmed frigate and if I get caught and uh, I get a warp uh, inhibition or whatever the name is called, anyway, I can't warp out, I get shot, I mean, yeah, this should happen. I mean, I was not in, in a good ship. I, I did t take my Hyperion after that and it went to the system, but uh, that the, the guy that shot me was with uh, two other cor uh, corp mate. So I didn't want to try and jump with my Hyperion uh, as a noob PvPer against three people. I think that would have been a little bit of a suicide. So I just uh, I, I let it go. So I, anyway, I don't mind getting shot at and uh, getting war deck. That's part of doing business. Uh, I need to set up a station and what I want is to get into low sec people are telling me yeah wormhole wormhole i said null sec null sec the the next logical step from where i'm going and i'll try and get the map here so maybe i'll just uh, see where where i'm coming from in my logic and and it's probably not good eve logic but it is my logic so <laughs> uh I'm in Essence, I'm in Ursa, Ursa Louette, and from the beginning, if you've been following my story from the beginning, my goal is to dominate that region, okay? It, it makes no sense. You can't hold a region, you can't, but that's, that's what my character wants to do. He wants to be the biggest industrial power in Essence, not in a wormhole, not in Nullsec. So that's where I want to build. And I've been scanning those different places to find a good spot to put my my Atenor. Uh, so I will I will continue to to find the right place. I want to be in that region here because it it is it has a path all the way to uh, null. So if I if I'm building, because my first step is an Athenor, and my next step will be an Asbel to be able to uh, to get to build capital. So and since I don't want to be boxed in like here, where my my ship couldn't leave, so I want to be able to to go all the way to uh, to null. So. Uh, that, that's my next step. And also, uh, EVE is a social game and I cannot survive in, in low sec as a solo uh, industrial player. I mean, I'll get gank all the time and that's pretty stupid. So I've been, uh, I have sent message to a few of the corp that have presence in those area uh, and basically what I'm offering them is because like a lot of these are pirates corp but hey pirates need guns and ships and I build gu build gun I build guns and ship so uh, maybe there's a possibility of doing like uh, guns for a protection trade <laughs> or something like that and I could be supplying them and they're blowing people up and when people get blown up they need to buy their ship back so it's good business for me so that's that's my logic so I've sent a few mail I haven't received a uh, mess uh, response back but uh, I mean I've, I've started sending those mail yesterday so we'll see how it goes from there so that's the next step uh, also I've rebuilt uh, my uh, rebuilt my frigate to go scan and I trained uh, trained the first level of a cloaking device, so it actually should be trained now. So put online. Ah, fucking power! Right. Anyway, I'll figure that out. But uh, so uh, the goal is I. I mean, I think I'm gonna have higher chance of survival with a cloaking device. Still. Uh, going a <laughs> gonna not go afk in uh, in null if i can avoid it uh in, in low uh 
so what else I'm working on reprocessing efficiency uh, the, 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 the entire reason I want to build well one of the main reason I want to build there's true reason I want to build in low sec and I'm not going to deploy that at the nor in ISEC well first of all there's like you know, 60 uh, player structure uh, that are like open to public already in uh, in ISEC uh, in the area and that aren't, aren't charging anything so there's no point in maintaining my own structure there uh, also I want the added uh, yield efficiency for refining uh, and because I'm pushing my uh, my reprocessing uh, I'm starting to have decent skill and uh, so I am pushing because reprocessing is actually a, a, a pretty good money maker. And the thing is, it scale. It can scale uh, without time investment because if you're good at reprocessing, you can reprocess like infinitely. So you're not depending on slot or on an extra character. So this this I'm gonna push. Uh, also, uh, I'm getting after that cybernetic five to get the bean counter uh, with the four percent efficiency, and if I can get my station in uh, in low, I'm gonna get like a, a, a significant bonus. So I'm just gonna be like uh, three percent efficiency behind somebody in uh, in null in null sec or wormhole, but I'm gonna be like. Uh, super close to civilization so i'm not back in the boonies uh, in in null so all in all i think that's a pretty good trade-off so that's that's reason number one uh, reason number two moon mineral so i want to sit next to a moon and I'll be able to uh, to moon mine one station uh to get to act to have access to moon mineral and reason number three is reaction and there's three slots in an Atenor so I haven't I'm not sure I can uh, I'm not sure I can do that but my I need I need to go like uh, my my logic is I wanted to put like one refining module one moon miner and without like this special moon mining upgrade so it's going to be just be like basic moon mining and then uh, after that because uh, you got three slots and after that, the other thing is I'm going to like put some module to do reaction to be able to start doing reaction. Now, am I making, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to go totally uh, crazy and build stuff that at a loss, at a major loss. But I mean, yeah, if I can make like a 10% profit on the reaction, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'm going to start buying a component blueprint for capital. And honestly, that's financially, it's a dumb move. But for the fun of it is I'm going to build an indus industrial capability. So I'm going to build the, the ability, the, I'm going to build what I need to keep pushing those ship out because I mean uh, I want the ability to do that and because that's what I want to do will I make money probably less than I would selling the mineral but eh, the, <laughs> like I said if I want if I would play just to make money I would be doing incursion so uh, at that point I'm still going to put my network every week and if I find ways to actually make good money, like good, I, I don't think there's a way to make good money, but I think there's a way to make a living, uh, to make some money. Uh, so that's going to be the case. And if one of those pirate faction uh, are actually... Uh, 
want to play ball with my uh, my setup and are actually doing their part in uh, keep me keeping me uh, protected uh, then maybe eventually i'll supply them with uh, with chip uh, just just for the sake of it because i mean, I mean there's no point in building ship if they're not used to shoot people down. So that's where I want to go. So at that point, I, I, I'm going to make it sure, like when I talk to you guys, because some people are watching this stuff and say, OK, I'm learning a lot from you. This is a move that I'm making for fun. This is not a move that makes financial sense, uh, but not everything you do is for financial sense the same way that when elon musk sh shot his car in space should have he could have shot a rock it was a cool move and that and i'm building my station just for fun to manage it and everything else so i'm a little more cheerful this week even though i had a, sh a bad eve week and i lost two ship but like i said sh ship lost uh, are part of the game so that that i know my I, I've been playing uh, games for a long time. I've lost. Uh, I, I've lost. Uh, I've lost a lot of. <laughs> I've died a lot of time in games. Uh, enough that it doesn't. Uh, I've been. I've, I've still have a lot of PvP experience in, in many games, so I don't really care about that. I mean, it doesn't have that big an impact on my on my morale to die in game. Uh, I was still salty about dying to a power outage, but that's part of the game. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week update. Hopefully uh, next week uh, we're gonna there's gonna be uh, news of a station that is set up, uh, and also I am considering uh, opening up my corp uh, i'm not promising anything i i'm thinking about it uh, opening up my corp to, for recruitment because a few of you guys sent me mail uh, the thing is uh, if i do that i mean i'm I, I don't i don't mind i'll leave you access to it and uh, to uh, to the structure and uh, i'm not going to charge you uh, you just like like the minimum i can charge but uh just i mean if i'm setting something up might as well have you guys uh, uh use it too and if you want to chip in for a fuel cost uh, you're more than welcome uh but if not i mean it's okay i'm running it for me but uh i'm not promising anything because i i haven't talked with uh, people and i mean they might be uh, willing to get me on board as a solo player but they might not be super keen on me starting to uh, recruit people and everything uh but hey, we'll we'll see anyway that, that that's uh, that's a discussion we'll cross that bridge when we get there so anyway uh, have fun guys and uh, see you all next week bye bye